Hey guys, I'm back with another video for you. And first thing I want to do is give a shout out to Top Moon Reptiles. Uh, he's one of my favorite guys, uh, breeders here in Wisconsin. He's got his own YouTube channel. Great guy, great breeder. Somebody you should definitely check out. So Top Moon Reptiles. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you a couple clutches. Um, I'm hatching a lot of stuff right now. I'm kind of in between, like I've, I've had a bunch of clutches hatching. I've got a ton right now that haven't shed yet. As soon as they shed, get all shed out, I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys. So make sure to uh, like and subscribe to this if you want to see what else I'm producing this year. Uh, you're going to see a lot of stuff, trust me. Um, I have have more eggs incubating already at this point in the year than I've ever had, ever. So yeah, it's been pretty overwhelming uh, with dealing with all the babies, but lots of really cool stuff coming out. It's really, you know, pretty exciting to see all of it. A lot of new stuff I've never produced before. Uh, so anyway, make sure to, uh, to check out my other videos and my future videos. And also make sure to like my, uh, or visit my website, Royal Constrictor Designs. And uh, let's just take a look at some snakes here. Okay, this clutch is from a GHI pied bred to a Pastavi het pied. So let's go through in the order of, let's go through the hats first. This first one is a GHI Mojave and he'll be 100% het pied. And then here is a really outstanding looking GHI Pastavi het pied. Really crazy blushing on that one. A lot more than most GHI pastavis. Okay, then here's a pastel pied. Okay, then these two kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop. I didn't really, I've never produced these before, so I didn't really know exactly what I'm looking at. I'm still not 100% sure. But I believe that this is a GHI pastel pied. I think, um, mostly because Mojave pies typically don't really have any pattern within the dark pattern on them. So I don't think there's Mojave in this one, but there's definitely not just pastel in this. So I think this is a GHI pastel pie. Then I also hatched this one out. And what I think this one is, is a GHI Mojave pastel pied. Mojave pieds typically, like I said, the pattern doesn't really have much pattern within them. Um, but I'm a little surprised the two darker jeans and just having pastel into it would wash out this pattern so much. But either way, it's a really, really cool snake and I'm sure I'm gonna end up holding on to that one. I haven't sucked these yet, but um, yeah, I really like, well, I, I like all of them. I mean, I think this is a fantastic clutch that's come out, but um, yeah, these two are definitely very unique. Really trying to produce a lot of different pied combos here. Uh, you know, just kind of throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks as far as genetics goes. Trying to get all kinds of different new combos in together and seeing what pops out. Okay, then I've got another clutch here that I've actually barely even had time to look at. So we're going to kind of tour this next clutch together. Let's get these guys put away. Okay, so I've been incorporating the, the hypo gene into my banana projects for a while, or I, the banana gene into my hypo projects, I should say. I guess it could work either way. Um, so this clutch is from a hypo super enchi banana bred to a pastel enchi hypo. So everything in here is going to come out with enchi, because one of the parents is a super enchi. Everything's also going to come out hypo, and then uh, some of the babies are going to come out pastel and some some could be super enchi some could be regular enchi some could be pastel some could be a combination of pastel and super enchi so i hit on a ton of bananas in this clutch this one is not one of them this is a pastel super enchi hypo the nice thing is that these are all hypos and i think the hypo gene works with the banana gene really well because you don't get the black spots that you get on a regular banana which you know some some people like the black speckling other people don't um, but these uh, these hypo enchi bananas really tend to hold on to their colors really well. They look pretty nice as adults. 
um, and they're they're awesome looking as babies. But and they like I said, they look really good as adults too. So these guys are a pretty squirmy bunch here. You can see the whole clutch here. So I'm gonna take out a few of them and we'll kind of look at those a little bit more carefully. Well, that was a nice big clutch. That was a, a seven egg clutch. So I'm assuming I have six hypo enchi banana combos in here. Let's try to go through and kind of start figuring them out. So I think that that's just a hypo enchi banana. And I, I believe the rest of these are probably super enchies. You can see the, the much wider head pattern on, on the regular enchi. The supers tend to be a lot more pinched off up here. You can see it on all of them. Now some of these are going to be pastel as well. I believe this one's a pastel. I think this one's a pastel also. Can't, I thought I'd have an easier time telling the pastels from the non-pastels, but not quite as easy as I thought. But anyway, here are the others. Yeah, these guys are really moving all over the place. So anyway, just a really nice clutch. I mean, it, I was really fortunate to get so many super enchies and so many bananas in this clutch. You know, like this one and this one and this one, I'm not 100% sure are super enchies. They do have a pretty reduced head pattern compared to this one, but not even close to as much as these two. Get all these guys in one spot here so you can really take a good look at them. Wow, they are just active. Get some king snake blood in them or something. So these guys will probably all be available, most of them anyway, um, as soon as I can find time to take pictures and get them on the website. I've had been having a really hard time finding time to get pictures up, um, but now that we're you know, hopefully going to be through the peak of the hatching season in just a few weeks, probably by late August. I'll really start working on getting those pictures on the website. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. So there might be a little bit of a gap between this video and my next one. Um, like I said, I'm in the middle of my hatching season. It's going to take a lot to keep up with all that, and I think that's where all my time is going to be devoted. So, uh, but stick with me and stay tuned. I'll be coming out with another video as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And make sure to like and subscribe. And check out my website, Royal Constrictor Design. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I'm trying to keep these guys from falling off this cart. Uh, but anyway, yeah, check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. And I'll be back again as soon as I can with another video. I promise it won't be too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks.